ladies and gentlemen, um, it's your boy James, um, I haven't been, um, I'm making any videos in a couple of weeks, I've been, um, out, um, celebrating Christmas and stuff, but, um, I really haven't voiced my opinion on this return, listen YouTube, I am very, very, very excited about this, um, it, it don't get no bigger than Dave Batista, um, the animal, a former world heavyweight champion, former WWE champion, um, to come back to the WWE and, and after these last few years of not having him, man, it's, it's been a rough time without Dave Batista in the WWE, and I'm so excited for uh, January 20th. Um, the main issues I still got, um, I'm actually watching Raw now, um, Brock Lesnar just came back, you know, um, and beat up Mark Henry, so there's gonna be a confrontation between Dave Batista and, um, and Batista, um, somewhere on Raw, but this, this is exciting news, uh, even though this, we still get the Cena fuckery and the Randy Orton fuckery. That's another story. But I'm ex excited about Dave Batista returning to the WWE. This is a big step in a good direction. And the thing that I just said is the product. You know, the product's still the same. But at least you bring it back one of the badasses of, of the Ruthless Aggression Era. One of the main staples of the Ruthless Aggression Era. Um... SmackDown was really built on the back of Dave Batista. Uh, Raw was at one time, but Batista was the man, the most popular WWE superstar in the company during that time. And um, I know a lot of fans out there is excited because I am very excited about the return of the Beast, the number one Beast. Brock Lesnar can talk about he the Beast all he want to, but to until you look into the animal's eyes. On January 20, you will know who the big, the bigger beast is in the WWE. I cannot wait for this confrontation between Brock Lesnar and Batista. This is going to be absolutely nuts. And um, oh, man, I was I back in the past, I was the number one Batista guy. Loved his matches, loved everything he does. Some people can say they were a Brock Lesnar guy. I was never a Brock Lesnar guy. I was a Dave Batista guy. Mainly three people that I loved in professional wrestling was Stone Cold Steve Austin, Dave Batista, and The Rock. Those I'm I'm a bandwagon of those three superstars. So if the fans be divided on January twentieth, I am gonna be on the side of the animal Dave Batista. I'm already throwing my my hat in uh the basket and saying that I'm a Dave Batista guy and I'm very excited about January 20th, that marks the return of the animal, the beast, the the main event, Dave Batista. And um, look out, WWE locker room. Look out, because those animal eyes will be unleashed on the WWE universe. And if Brock Lesnar, you want some, you want to try the animal, you want to come out and make all the statements you want, you want to make every statement, you want to try to prove that you the man. But on January 20th, we're going to see who the real animal is. And I am on the strictly on the side of Batista. And I'm very excited that the WWE has pulled this out of their bag of tricks. Come on, animal. Come on, January 20th. I cannot wait to see Batista.